Welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and this is a game review. We are looking at a game called Hidden World by Fire Maple, Maple Games. It's $1.19, uh, maybe 99 cents in the US as uh, prices in Canada have been rising because of the lower Canadian dollar. Uh, it's an adventure game. If you like adventure gaming, this is a series of adventure games. Actually, Fire Maple Games uh, has several adventure games and uh, I've actually reviewed another one um, which is the uh, secret of Grizzly Manor so this is Eden World Fire Mequel Games it is a 85 megabyte download requires iOS 5.1 or later it's compatible with the iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch the app is optimized for iPhone 5 it has several languages so it's fun because you can have a gameplay in your favorite language so it's around a dollar, a dollar nineteen, depending on where you are, and it's so it's not free. And once you uh, actually have another cool little adventure game, what I like about uh, Fire Maple games is that they aren't that difficult to master. If you like adventure gaming but you don't like to scratch your head like crazy, uh, these are cool little games actually that you can play. Uh, one word of caution: if you play it on your iPhone or iPod Touch. The screen is kind of small for such a type of a game, so it's, you know, I would say this game is more like for iPads. Uh, it's much more fun on an iPad, or if like me here, uh, I use it on my iPhone 5, but as you see, I uh, send it through AirPlay on my 50 inch TV uh, via my Apple TV, which of course uh, makes the game a lot more fun to play. Music and graphics are, you know, nice. The graphics in Maple games, Maple, uh, um, pretty much all of their games are um, more like cartoonish in graphics, but it's still very nice and very uh, good gameplay. Of course, in every game you have instructions, which lets you uh, see how to play the game. So if you're new to adventure games, that's fun. And uh, of course, different options of gameplay which are languages or if you want to restart a game you can reset you have the volume controls and sound effects and overall you get a fun little adventure game it's really tap and um, you know you tap whatever objects to uh, find what you need to find so here is ever since you were a child your uncle's house always seemed larger than life filled with exotic souvenirs from his many trips. So when he asked you to look after his house for a few weeks, you jumped at the chance. On the first night of your stay, you noticed that your dreams were more vivid than ever before, filled with images of magical worlds in faraway lands. The dreams continued for several more days until one night you were startled awake by a loud crash in the next room. And that's where it starts. As usual, you have your little bag on the left side, which has your inventory. You have the magnifier glass that gives you hints. So it's pretty cool for that. And so uh, it's really nice. When you tap on the screen an object, it gives you the object's um, you know, information about it. You tap the door, you go to the next room and so on. So here you see that there's a case in the bottom that's fallen down. Aha, there's a little pattern here. So you can actually check it out. Everything you find, patterns and so on, are written in your journal. So if you want to you know, watch them again, You'll go into the journal and check for the reference if you need to. So everything you click shows you different things. Here you try to move objects. For example here there's something hidden in the back. So what you do is move the different objects so that you can see that there's a actually a spot with a keyhole in it. In the bottom of the crate. So, you know, it's really nice, it's very adventured-like, and uh, it's cool for that. 
And here are markings that, if you've noticed, look a lot like what I've just seen. So you can refer to the colors here to check out how to actually, you know. So for example, let's do this. The second one is this. And the third one is Here opens a secret entrance that you can go and explore, as you see. So these are fun games, actually. If you like adventure, I uh, really like these games. Uh, that they are simple, but yet beautiful, nice, and mysterious, and easy to play on pretty much every device. And like I said, um, if you have an iPad, I think it's better on an iPad because of the size. But you know, I'm looking at my iPhone 5 here. I mean, it's not too bad even on a small device, but of course the bigger the screen, the more fun you'll have with these types of adventure games. If you have uh, any apps that you'd like us to talk about, let us know. We'll try to post a video online. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe? By subscribing, you'll be informed when new videos are online. I try to post videos every week. And hopefully, uh, you know, you will uh, check out our other videos. We have hundreds of videos of apps that we've reviewed through uh, the months and uh, years. Why not take a peek and hopefully you will come back to the iPad Apps First Look channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.